This is WZ Plastic Bling reviewing set number 71746, The Jungle Dragon. I apologize that I accidentally uploaded only the part two of my two part video for the review of The Keeper's Village, set number 71747. Okay, so let me get to the minifigures here. First is Jungle Zane with not so much of a new uh, head and hair print or mold but sort of a new uh, torso print and uh, leg print and in a sleevelessness uh, stuff yeah oh and his accessories are a pair of uh, bow and arrows and stuff printed in black Next is this two-headed Islander uh, with a bandana or a mask here. The torso print and leg print are the same as any other Islander and the faces are pretty much the same as the others. Except with this purple one, pretty sure that's a new one. Featured are two perpendicular the uh, positioned daggers. Next is the uh, storm guard, rumble guard, rumble raider. I don't remember. Anyway, same torso and leg print, same mask, and also same face. Just like the one in the keeper's village set. Also included is a white printed spear piece. Next is Jungle Void, who is basically the same as the one featured in set number 71745, the Droid's Jungle Chopper bike. Uh, so yeah, alternate faces, happy, uh, no, uh, angry, uh, blightened or something. And also, uh, his little dagger and stuff, such and such. Okay, for structure here is, uh, Zane's little, uh, surfboard, speeder, hoverboard thing. First, let's look at the flag. Uh, this is a printed piece, this circular piece here. And the way they actually made this is sort of like this. So that's nice that they made it kind of airtight. Along with this dragon uh, hilt piece. Underneath are two uh, domed, domed uh, shiny gold uh, pieces. It's kind of unnecessary, but wanted, though. Oh, and also two stud shooters positioned at both sides, left and right. Right, left. Uh, not sure how Zane is supposed to be positioned, sort of like this, where you can pretend he's holding this thing, or sort of like this. What? Uh, where an actual surfer would do that. And now the jungle dragon. So basically, the thing I love about this set is that this is my first actual Lego Ninjago dragon. I have no other Lego dragons in my Lego collection, and that's kind of surprising since I kind of have a uh, every type of vehicle and housing in my collection. Okay, starting from the tail, they use those little printed rubbery uh, pieces along with and going up we see an imitation of a golden spinal cord with a little passenger seat all the way up to the neck and also over here, here and here and here, 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 
are printed are actually stickered pieces. Now, I'm not going to explain furthermore because I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to let the product speak for itself in this small demonstration on a little semi-playing. Mm -hmm. Position that. Yeah. Throw the bone doggy. Wah ha 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 ha! We have malicious intent at first, but then we are uh, explained furthermore. But still, he gets uh, probably uh, mildly injurious. Ow! Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing he did. Fetch the bone, doggy. Now, fly. Yep, that's the demonstration. So basically, articulation around the legs is uh, controlled by this little jointed technic, uh, semi technic piece here. You can uh, do this if you want more articulation. 360, 180. Oh, wait. About 180. And over here is a ball jointed uh, uh, ball joint for the hind legs. The way they actually made this is pretty smart and pretty nice. I love the inclusion. Also, uh, here they use little uh, turquoise or teal domed pieces for shoulder blades or something. Good for a dragon. Uh, three of the uh, actual feet are uh, are the same. With this one being ex being technically an exception because included on there is a chain and a sort of shiny chain, if you will. Motion around here is used with Technic pins and Technic uh, bolts. Nice little waggle starting from here. Now, this uh, little slant is not actually uh, positionable. It's like that. It's kind of annoying, but still. You can actually remove this, I think. Or you can seat, seat void like that. Unfortunately, you can't keep the sword on him while seeing him uh, like you're supposed to. So, you gotta pin one arm to the side to one of these handlebars and uh, I think in I think uh, he's supposed to throw the bone to some place where he wants to go and the dragon will try to get the bone so yeah smart way of traveling so yeah you can do it like this and the reason I positioned the sword over here on the uh, sheath, sheath uh, pauldron thingy is because if I do this, he'll lean too far back. Or er, lean too far to the right. So yeah, see him over here, perched on the back. Now over here is a slightly, uh, actually a lar very larger ball joint than uh, what was featured over here with uh, the sole uh, neck uh, structure being the connection between the body and head. Now, the actual head uh, structure is kind of creepy and kind of nice because front look, it's kind of creepy because of the unmatched eyes. 
and the tongue. And oh my, what big teeth you have. What big tongue you have. What dark eyes you have. Don't eat me. No. See, so yeah, here's a closer look at the mouth. Above it's uh can this part is con connected to this part via technic piece. And also this is sort of a um, I think this is what mechs are supposed to have, except in a more white, dark, red to imitate a tongue. And these teeth are the newer versions and are sort of rubbery. The jaw and the upper uh, head are connected together with these battle droid arms here. Lego battle droid arms there. Head is printed in uh, a gold, more of a, a shiny metallic gold here. While over here, the stickers uh, detail a more uh, bland, less shiny, yeah, sort of, uh, sort of a uh, sand colored thing. Not sure if it's a, a product defect. If it is, then um, I don't know. You can also position the horns like this. Uh, it's actually supposed to be like this, but I think it's a little too weird, so I like it like this. And you can open the jaw. Or uh, oh, what actually? By what? Wings are on both sides, uh, not really concealed that well using ball joints and Technic pieces, etc, etc. And uses these little uh, long, uh, sharp blade pieces, three of them on each side. Wings can go like this, 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 oh yeah, that. This also pops off. And also this, in case if you uh, wanted to, I don't know, you shoot out all those blades. I don't know if that's a function in evolution. Is it porcupine, uh, hedgehog? Anyway, uh, this build is really great, but it also has major disadvantages starting with the legs on the front they're pretty nice and pretty smooth and cool except for uh, the hind legs they're uh, not properly concealed well but yet again I think it's supposed to do that but on the back here uh, it's very not concealed well and over here they uh, put on a little a uh, coffee brown uh, circular stud piece there. I don't know why. It's sort of useless. It, it'd be more logical to put them over here and here. It's like try to conceal this mess. Same thing with the front legs. Not really, uh, not really that, uh, good. And also on these pieces here, I actually modified it so that they, so that these uh, little things peg into this uh, large section over here, like it's supposed to. But uh, the instructions actually say to sort of do it like this. But to me, that doesn't really conceal this that well, so I prefer to do this. See? Much better, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's the Jungle Dragon build, and that's all for this part of the video. But, there's more! Cuz... This is now... A full... Review. For... The Keeper's Village that I didn't really get to show you guys. Now, 
these are all three sets that I have together. Chopper Bike, Jungle Dragon, Keeper's Village. I'm not going to buy any more sets cause this year because uh, budget's low. I go budget's low. Uh, and yeah. So yeah, this is actually my final video for this year. See you next year. But before that, uh, these are all the spare parts you're going to have if you do actually buy all three of these sets or actually uh, these sets three of these set, these three of these sets uh, the storm action amulets uh, technically count since I already have three and one is all I need so yeah these are kind of spare parts yeah